December, everybody. Um, so everybody get comfortable. This is going to be a long uh, video. I have favorites to talk about and I have updates to talk about. And I thought it would be fun to film in front of my little Christmas tree that I have. Marley's uh, sitting back there just hanging out. So I have a lot of updates. I have a kind of a lot of favorites. I didn't realize I had that many favorites until I started like gathering them and then I was like, oh frick, like this is probably going to be a long video. Let's start off with, um, and I have one unfavorite, so that's kind of fun. Um, let's start off with the things that are not makeup because I find that we always start off with the makeup items first, but I'm starting off um, with my non-beauty favorites. Um, first off being this phone case. It says Be Dazzling, and this is from Kate Spade. Um, I picked this up back home um, when I was home over October um, from Von Mauer, which is like comparable to um, Nordstrom. It's very like it has your high-end things and then it has like your just regular priced things. But um, yeah, so I picked this up and I love it for the holidays. It's very glittery. It's a rubberized case. So I've dropped my phone a couple times and it's kept it safe. I love it. I just think it's so awesome for the Christmas season and it's gold, it's glittery. It's just, I love it. I got a lot of compliments on it and I just really love it. It's pretty awesome. Um, I want to talk about a music favorite. So music favorite would be um, my Pandora station and I have it on the, Chris Marley's going to join us. I have it on the um, Vince Giraldi um, Christmas station and for those of you that don't know Vince Giraldi is like if anyone knows the Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown Christmas CD um, album he did that um, and it's one of my favorites I love jazz um, so so much so this station is just up my alley I just I'm obsessed with it I've listened to it all the time it's great if you love jazz, definitely check it out. Um, another favorite that I have is this notebook. And this is my moleskin notebook. I have, this is just um, the paper notebook. I have the daily planner um, in this yellow color as well. I just love the yellow. I wanted something really like sunshiny and very like, I don't know, something to bright my day. I love journaling. I journal um, every day, sometimes twice a day, and I just finished a journal, um, so I wanted to start a new one. So I picked up this moleskin, and does anyone else love these notebooks? Because, sorry, my TV's on, so it's going to be like, the color is going to be changing. That's kind of annoying. I'm sorry. Um, does anyone else love moleskin notebooks? I just think they are so awesome, and... Oh, I love this. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's do a candle. Um, I have a total random candle favorite. So I was at the grocery store. I was at Vaughn's. And I saw these Febreze candles. They're limited edition for the holidays. And this one is in Glistening Pine. I have one burning. I picked up another one because they are limited edition. Oh my god. So I and I think it was a couple favorites back or maybe it was last month's favorites. Oh my gosh, I have something in my eye. Sorry guys. Holy cow. I mentioned um, a white light soy candle called um, Northwood Pine. Dude, this smells identical with probably a fraction of the price. I think this candle was like four dollars. My pine candle that I get from um, uh, White Light Soy Candle Company back home in Iowa, it's like twenty dollars. Granted, it's soy, it lasts a little bit longer, but if you want that scent, Febreze, hello, and it sm makes your whole house smell just absolutely incredible. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm just like I, I'm in love with anything that's this scent. I like spicy scents. I like um, anything that smells like a fireplace, anything that smells like pine trees. I hate, hate, hate sweet smelling candles. I can't stand it. 
I don't like sweet things in general. I don't like sweet perfume. I don't like sweet scents. They make me sick. I just can't stand them. So gross. Um, this is right up my alley. I love it. It smells incredible and it's just this beautiful like hunter green color. Speaking of green, um, I am wearing a green smoky eye today, which I have not done a smoky eye in a very long time. Um, whoops, hairs are out of place. So I decided, you know what, I'm staying home today, let's bust out the eyeshadow palettes and play around with some of my MAC eyeshadows and some of my other palettes. So um, I'm obsessed with this look. Comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial because I really want to do one. Um, speaking of the makeup on my face, I am also wearing this blush from Tarte. It is the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this is in the color Exposed. And in the pan, it doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, and especially if you are darker skin toned like I am, I am definitely more medium skin toned. I have olive skin. Um, you would think, oh my gosh, how is that ever going to show up? But honestly, this blush is so beautiful. If you, Especially if you want to do a smoky eye, you don't want your cheeks to be competing. You want to keep everything else on your face pretty neutral. If you're going to do, especially a colored smoky eye like I did with the green, you really want to keep things neutral. This blush is just so beautiful. It's really pigmented. Um, it's on my cheeks right now. It's a really beautiful, like, nudie, pinky brown color. It goes with everything. Um, it perks up your face. I've been using it with this Eco Tools brush, and I have no idea which one this is. It's just, like, the pointed tip one. I don't know. But I just put this, like, along my cheeks right here, on my cheekbones, and it's just, it is gorgeous. Um, I highly recommend these Tarte, um... <laughs> brain fart these tart blushes because they last a really really long time they're great quality and it'll it will last you a really long time these will last forever um another makeup favorite I actually only have two makeup favorites um my next one is what I'm wearing on my lips and what I have been wearing on my lips all month it is the um sexy mother uh, soap and glory sexy mother pucker gloss stick and nudist and it's just one of those twist up crayons. I know I've mentioned this before, but this is just a beautiful, like, your lips but better color. It's very moisturizing. It's really glossy. Um, I have both these products on with this green smoky eye, and I think they're just, oh, they're just the perfect balance. Like, and this smells really, really good, too. I'm just going to put some more on while we're here. It smells really good too. It just smells delicious. And it's this is definitely a huge winner for me. A nail polish favorite. It wouldn't be a favorites video for me if I didn't mention a nail polish because I am obsessed. Um, it is the Revlon Brilliant Strength um, Nail Polish in the color Persuade. And it just looks like this. It's a really, really gorgeous oxblood shade. Um, I have it on my toes. I have Revlon's... Um, bold sangria on my nails right now but um, I love especially this formula it lasted on my nails for a very 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 long time like I think I went a week without even chipping which is awesome and I love this color if you like um, Essie's Wicked or you like Revlon's Vixen this is a little bit lighter version of those um, so I highly recommend it. I think it's beautiful, especially for the Christmas holidays. It's just really, really festive, and I love it. Um, for a pure, <laughs> blah, 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 perfume favorite I have is this perfume, and I believe this is from Givenchy. Yes, it is. And this came out a long time ago. It's called Play. And it looks like, um, it's supposed to look like an iPod or whatever. This came out a long time ago. I don't remember when this came out. And I've had this for a very long time, probably three years. But it was still in the box. So I busted it out this year. And I love it. It's like, I'm really bad at describing scents. But let's just spray a little bit on. 
it's just a very warm scent. It's just perfect for the fall. It's warm, it's spicy, it's sexy, it's a great evening, but I wear it all the time. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. It kind of also has some floral notes, um, but it is like very warm and spicy. I just am obsessed with it. It's beautiful. Um, for body favorites, I have a body butter and then a body powder. Uh, body butter is from the body shop and it is just the shea butter. This is just the baby one. Um, I did place an order online on Cyber Monday. Body shop, um, if you went online, they were having 50% off everything off their site. So I think I got three items for only $30 plus it was free shipping. Um, whereas it would have costed, probably, it would have costed, oh my god, it would have cost, um, I think like 60 some dollars um, if it would have been full price. So I bought the full size of this because I really love it. It's a very fresh, clean scent. Um, it doesn't compete with my perfume. I like to put this on after my shower. I also like to put this on at night before I go to bed. It's just super hydrating and moisturizing. And it's just, it's a very fresh, uh, clean scent. And I just... I love it. So I bought full size. Body powder. Um, I went into Lush uh, a couple weeks ago with um, one of my best friends and they just kind of like pampered us, just sat us down and gave us like a hand massage and like an arm scrub and all this really awesome stuff. And this was one of the products that she used on my arms after moisturizing. And I didn't think this was any big deal, but... I have been using it after every shower, after I put on my moisturizer. This is supposed to kind of like lock in the moisture. Um, it also smells like vanilla. It smells really good and just really fresh. Um, I don't know why I love this so much. It's such an odd product. It's a dusting powder. Um, it says, a blend of smoothing light powders to glide over skin, leaving it silky to the touch and scented with rich vanilla fragrance that lasts for hours. This just is supposed to like lock in the moisture on your skin after you've moisturized. And I don't know if it really does work or if it's just kind of like a gimmick type thing, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. And this powder is going to last me a long, long time, probably like definitely years. It was cheap. I think it was only $10 for this bottle. Um, but it's super cool. I don't know. Like this would be a really great stocking stuffer for someone who loves like lush body products and who maybe has never tried this product before. Um, it's really cool actually. I really do enjoy using it and it's, it does smell really, really nice. I have a non-favorite and it's actually a nail polish and I'm really 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 bummed about this because uh, the color is absolutely stunning this is a brand new line I have to get a drink coffee iced coffee um I wanted to love this so much like I saw it and it's brand new for the holidays um, there's a bunch of different colors but I hated this like no other nail polish I've ever used I will never use it. I'm going to probably give it away or throw it away. I hate it so much. Hate. It's like this is a flat out hate product. This is just. So this is a L'Oreal nail polish and it's one of their new ones. So if, you, if you've been in CVS or Walgreens, they'll have like a little, um, like a little kiosk or whatever for like new products. This is one of them. I've heard other YouTubers talk about this, um, that they've like picked it up, but I don't know if they've tried it. Um, because I haven't heard anybody speak about this product, um, before, and, oh, like, I hated it so much. Um, this is number 137, Sexy in Sequins. So, it's this amazing, like, purple nail polish, like, really deep purple with all kinds of glitter in it, like, gold glitter, silver glitter. I just thought it would be perfect for the holidays, you know, like, really festive and awesome. This, can I tell you, this formula is terrible. Terrible. And I normally really love these L'Oreal nail polishes, 
first of all, when I opened it and I took it out, I was like, is it supposed to be that thick and gloopy? Because if we look at it, it's just like really thick. It's not even dripping until now. There we go. It's a very thick formula. Um, and when I painted my nails with it, literally it felt like sandpaper on my nails. I mean, this is like chunky, disgusting glitter to the core. Um, I love glitter on your nails. Like, I love it. Like, um, Essie's Set in Stones, that's a silver chunky glitter. It's beautiful. I love it. I painted this on my nails. Um, yeah, it like went on in two coats. Not I could get away with one coat with this because it has like a nice base color. Um, it dries matte, number one, and it dries chunky, like really chunky. And it my nails felt like sandpaper. It was gross. I put a top coat on it, everything, hoping to redeem it. No, no. I absolutely hate this product. I do not recommend it in any way, shape, or form. The color is gorgeous. The formula is terrible. I hate the chunky glitter in it. It just feels gross on your nails. And it chipped the next day. And I painted Sachet Beat on top of it. Like, and it chipped. Crap, crap, crap. Now that I'm done with that rant, um, let's talk about updates. Um, oh my god, I have a fashion favorite. I totally forgot. It's the sweater I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Let me back it up so you can see. This is my um, sweater fashion favorite of the month. I'm obsessed. I actually, um, it's long sleeve. It's super cozy. Um, I picked it up at Marshall's, um, and I think it was like, I think it was $35 at Marshall's. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cozy and so warm, and I love kind of this, like, eye cat print on it. Um, I just, I love it so much. And another fashion, fashion favorite, oh my gosh, I'm just, like, uh, forgetting. Um, this white t-shirt I'm wearing, I also have it in gray. Um, I picked this up from Nordstrom Rack, and the brand is called Abound. Um, if you go to a Nordstrom Rack, they are super cheap. They are $10 each. For these t-shirts. I'm obsessed in love. They are my favorite t-shirts. I, I like honestly I want to go throw out all my other t-shirts that I've picked up like my Target v-necks and just go replace them with these. They're so comfortable and so soft. The cotton is just really nice quality. Um, they're long. I'm very long torso. They're long. They wash really well. Um, they don't lose their shape. They don't lose their um, their, what is this? Opacity? Opaqueness? I don't know. They don't, they don't wear thin, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and, yeah, they're at Nordstrom Rack. I highly recommend them. Like, I, I'm going to go pick up, I think, every color um, in a couple weeks when my brother comes to visit. I'm going to go pick them up because I'm obsessed. Okay, now that I've collected all my thoughts, let's get to the update part of the video. Um, biggest update is I am moving back home over Christmas. Um, my husband is, um, I can't really discuss really what he does, um, but he is training, so he is away a lot, um, and, well, I can say he's in the mil my husband's in the military. He is away a lot with training. He is currently in training. Sorry, my hair is just driving me nuts, guys. I'm sorry. Do you ever have those days? I'm so sorry. Um, he's away a lot. Um, he's been away most of the time I've lived here in California. Um, and we just thought it would be the most responsible decision um, to have me move back home while he finishes up what he's doing. Um, we'll save a ton of money, and I will get to uh, see him a lot more frequently. Um, I love it in California. We are moving back out here um, come, like, late summer, early fall. Um, I love California, and I don't want to leave, but it's just the most adult decision. It's, like, a responsible move if I just go home while he finishes training. That's like my biggest update. Um, it was not an easy decision to make. It was very hard. It took a couple months for me to make the final decision. And I just feel like it's the best thing to do. 
um, considering the situation that we are currently in, Marley is barking like always. Um, come here. Come over here. Also, side note, if you guys could be like saying good thoughts and like prayers for Marley. Marley. Um, she's been extremely sick since I got home in October. They've run all kinds of blood tests. We've been to the vet probably, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, probably 12 times um, in the past month. Um, they just can't figure out what's wrong with her. Um, she has, this is going to get pretty graphic maybe. I'm going to keep it to the graphic to a minimum, but she's had um, diarrhea since I've been home, um, since I got home in October, and she had a parasite um, which was causing it, but that's got cleared up, and now they can't really figure it out. Um, we did a recent blood test, so we'll be getting the results from that back this week. They think she might have inflammatory bowel disease, which it sounds scarier than it is. Like, it's very easily, um, easy to treat once they figured it out. It's, like, controlled with medication and a sp very specific diet. Um... But Schnauzer's systems are very, very sensitive. She's a miniature Schnauzer. Um, their immune systems and their GI system and their their whole like GI tract is very, very sensitive to any kind of change. Plus, she has separation anxiety. Um, so any little change, whether it's food or um, stress, it causes them to have a lot of issues. Um, with going to the bathroom and all that fun stuff. It's actually worse than having a sick child because I can't put a diaper on her and I haven't been able to go to work. Um, and the vet bills have been just ridiculous, which is another reason we just decided it would just be best to move home right now. So we're surrounded by family that can help us out and um, help keep an eye on her and help me take care of her and all that stuff. I know, like, that's kind of, I don't say all that to be, like, a sob story. I'm just want, making you all aware of what's been going on and why I've been so MIA. Like, literally, I have not been able to shower very often because she has to get outside immediately. It'll be, like, five minutes after she eats food and she needs to get outside. Um... It's just been a nightmare. Like, for anyone that's had a sick pet, um, I know Anna Lee and Jesse, um, they just lost their dog Cooper, and that was heartbreaking. Like, yes, like, I don't know them personally. I don't know Cooper personally, but you feel a connection to pets and to people that only have pets. I don't have children. Um, I only have Marley, like, right now, because my husband is away. Like, she's all I have. Like, she means the world to me. So dealing with a sick pet is just, it's not fun. And plus when people don't know what's going on, when the vet doesn't know what's going on, it's just very, it's just really hard. It's just hard guys. So I would really appreciate like your good thoughts, your positive thoughts and your prayers going towards Marley um, as we figure out what's going on with her system. Hopefully test results will be, um, come back and we'll be able to move forward and what to do. So yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I was home alone during Thanksgiving, um, so I just made some chili and just uh, watched the Harry Potter marathon um, and had some hard cider and had a great time just me and Marley at home, like cuddling on the couch. It was great. It was, it was great. Um, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Christmas is really soon. My birthday is really soon. My brother is coming to visit in a week and a half with his girlfriend. They're going to help me pack up my house and uh, put it into storage. My husband comes home in 17 days, and then we are driving across country to Iowa. So that will be quite the experience, and I really kind of want to film it because um, it'll be... A, It'll be an experience that I don't think we'll really have again, so I kind of want to document that. So we'll see if I vlog at all um, during that. Um, yeah, when I get home, my brother is um, an amazing um, at film 
like that's what he's going to do with his life is make films and um so hopefully when I get back to my parents house I'll get some really like high quality video and be able to do some really great tutorials for you guys um with my brother's help he's just incredible at what he does um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I apologize a hundred times over that it was so long um but I have a lot that I needed to update you guys on um, that's going on with my life because this background will be changing within the next uh, three weeks. So I just wanted to update you all on that, um, get my favorites in, and wish you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I don't know if I'll be filming anything else before I move, um, but I don't want to make a promise that I can't keep. Um, so. If I see you guys before Christmas, awesome. If I don't, Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday and really make the most of this December with your loved ones and your family and your friends and your pets and your babies and your kids and just really take this time to cherish each other and appreciate um, everything that you have because there are so many that are um, so much more unfortunate than we are and I just want to say blessings to all of you and I hope you all stay safe and yeah have a great season I love you guys and I will talk to y'all later Mwah. bye